In this video, we're gonna take a look at Hunter's ICD-400 decoder. I'm Sprinkler Nerd Andy, and you're watching Sprinkler TV. All right, so what we have here is Hunter's ICD-400 decoder, and the ICD decoders are Hunter's premium two-wire decoders designed for long distance, high station count applications, and they include integrated surge protection. So let's go ahead and take it out of the box. What's included is the decoder. I'll turn it right side up and we'll slide it out of the packaging. Then we have two uh, 3M DBRY waterproof splices and these are ry because it's red and yellow just in case you're curious and then we have instructions so pretty straightforward but i wanted to show you everything that comes in the box and then let's go ahead and take a closer look at the decoder itself this happens to be the icd 400 but this video could also be used to show and explain hunter's other decoders they also make a one station a two station of this is the four station they also make a six station and they make a sensor decoder so we're looking at the sticker and you can see that the let's see here uh, for the colored wires it explains it right there zone one, which isn't zone one, you can actually program this decoder to be whatever zone that you want on the system using Hunter's uh, wireless handheld programmer. And I'll show you that here in a minute. I've got a clip on that, but wire, let's call that wire number one is black, number two is yellow, green, and then white. So you can program these wires to be any zone that you would like to on the system. And this video is not intended to explain how a two wire system works, it's to explain uh, this decoder. And what you, what you probably should know is that this decoder is only designed for Hunter's ACC2 and the legacy ACC 99D system. So this isn't going to go on an iCore it's only designed for ACC2 and the legacy Hunter 99D controller. You can put this decoder uh, up to 10,000 feet away from the controller. So that's why this one's listed as long distance because that's this is the furthest you can place any decoder on Hunter system is with the ICDs and the ACC2. Uh, as it relates to your valve, you can uh, hook your valve up up to 150 feet away from this decoder. So if you have uh, only one valve in the box, what you could do is put the four station decoder in box number one, and then you could run jumper wires to other boxes and the solenoid can be up to 150 feet away from the decoder. Also integrated, let's see if you can see that, is, the, is that copper wire. So it has integrated surge arrester so that there's no need to install an additional surge arrester. Just keep in mind that you do not wanna put your ground rod or ground plate right in the valve box, okay? The ground rod needs to be eight feet away from the decoder because there's something called a sphere of influence and maybe sometime I'll make another video about that. But you need to put the ground rod at least eight feet away from your two wire path. Otherwise the electricity, the, the surge can come off the ground rod right back onto the two wire path. And uh, yeah, as I mentioned a moment ago, I'll just pop a picture up right here. You can program this with Hunter's handheld programmer. It actually, you, what's recommended is to put this on the stake. So Hunter makes a decoder stake, it latches on, and then you can take the handheld programmer, stick it on top, and then you can program it to be whatever zone you like on the system. Keep in mind, every uh, zone should be unique. So you don't wanna have two or three or four zone 50s programmed, you want every zone to be unique. So I hope that quickly helps uh, answer some questions that you might have about this. If I didn't mention something, please drop a comment down below. Uh, I will say here, just as a final statement, that on two wire systems, making a good splice connection is key. The main failure of any two wire system is the wire connection. So please, 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 only use DB 
RY connectors such as this. The decoder itself is fully submersible. So if your valve box fills up with water, that's okay. This is fully submersible. But if you don't use the right splice kit, then water can get into the splice and that's when failures occur. So hope that helps. If we can help you, please drop a comment down below. Reach out to us by phone, chat, email, or text message. And we'll see you on the next Sprinkler Supply Store product overview.